congratulations on your victory tonight. Um, it was a very dirty fight. So tell me a little bit of what your thoughts were on Valentino's dirty talk tactic. Yeah, well, we knew that you know he was a rough fighter from the jump. So you know, I tried to you know keep him on the outside as much as I could, you know, go down to the body. But you know, it's part of boxing. You got so many different styles, so many aqua fighters. And he was one of them. So we just had to, you know what I mean, go with the, the punches. You did a very good job. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, Disqualifications are very rare in boxing. Right. Um, are you satisfied with the results? You know, disqualification, the thing is this, you know, we got you get, the W is there, we got the W, but, you know, I wanted to do it in better fashion. I knew I couldn't stop him. I had him hurt, you know, and I jumped back on him, and, you know, we had him frustrated. I knew, okay, give me another round, maybe, you know, at the end of this round, I could, I could get him, but, you know, he was all he's trying to throw me out of the ring, so, you know, it, it's kind of, it kind of sucks, but it is, you know, it is. What are your thoughts? What was going through your head, actually, when he tried to throw you over the ring? I seen you uh, laughing and making faces at the crowd there. Yeah. It was, it, it tripped me out, you know. I see it on, I saw it in a few fights before. You know, thinking it happened to you, you know. And I was like, it just happened to you a lot. He was really just happened to you. He's really trying to pick me up right now. So, you know, I, I'm bigger than him. I know I can't be bigger than him. So he, he picked me up with ease, you know. I'm like, okay. You know, but, you know, well, you definitely don't nominated the fight, and I congratulate you for that. But I have one question. You had a huge entourage at the end. Tell me a little bit uh, about who was involved in that entourage. Well, you know, uh, it's just the guys from the gym. And, you know, we call it the dog house, so it's all our dogs, you know. So they support me, I support them. I'm going to definitely be there at their fights. They came out to show me that in my fight. So, uh, you know, uh, we put so much hard, hard work in, in and out of the ring. And so, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys that I run with. You know, when we run, we train, we train just like that. You know, 30, maybe 13 guys, you know, so that's how we work. And they all come out to support. So. Uh, how did it feel to have Floyd Mayweather Jr. in the crowd watching you? Did it add any pressure to you? No, no pressure, you know, because, uh, you know, this is what I dreamed of. This is what I was born to do, so eventually it's, it's going to be more than Floyd Mayweather watching. And as we see now, we have the world, a lot of the world watching, so, you know, uh, God built me and made me and gave me the skill for a reason, so, you know, it, I was happy to see him in the crowd. I was happy to see the crowd and, you know, excited to see me fight, so, you know, this is what I had to do, I, and I was ready for it. Yeah, it must be a very amazing feeling, and I admire you for definitely going after your dream. Um, what is in the near future for you? Uh, do you see a title shot anywhere nearby? I mean, you never know, that's all up to, you know, my management and my promoter, you know, Mayweather Promotions and Al Hammond, so, you know, uh, it's whatever, you know, whatever they put in front of me or whatever date they give me, so, you know, it's when I'm ready. Okay, so real quick, tell everybody where they can follow you. Uh, you can follow me at Twitter, at 2012JLove. I'll write back, tweet back, mention back, retweet, you know, the whole thing. Facebook, J Leon Love. You know, J apostrophe L E O N. Last name Love, L O V E. Hit me up there, friend request me, whatever. You know the whole thing. So, you know, I write back and holler at everybody. So, thank you. Thank you, guys.